Hello, I'm Carolyn, your host, and welcome to Weekly Minis, your bite-sized workshop on the hottest acro topics. You can reference all of our previous Weekly Minis and more amazing content on our Acrobatic Arts channel on YouTube. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and we'll do our best to answer those for you at the end. If you know someone who should hear about today's topic, be a friend and click the share button on this post right now and let them know we're here. Today, we're thrilled to bring you a Weekly Mini favorite and master teacher, Jill Ford, with her top five tips for acro costuming featuring Revolution. Revolution has been partnering exclusively with studios for over 25 years. This season, their 2023 costume collections are the best and biggest in their history, and we're excited to see some of the highlights today. Jill Ford is a course conductor and examiner for acrobatic arts. She has her own studio, Supernova Acro Club in Edmonton, Alberta, specializing in acrobatics, and she has over 25 years teaching experience. Jill continues to develop and train young dancers by sharing her knowledge and passion of acrobatics. We're thrilled to be able to present a great conversation about costumes for acro, but also have real examples to show you on real acro dancers with the studio owner and teacher with experience to speak firsthand. Jill, welcome. Thank you for having me so much for once again on a weekly mini. I am happy to share um, some tidbits and little extra little information on costuming. And we are so happy to have Revolution Costumes sponsor this and give us these beautiful costumes for my dancers to model for you and for you to see firsthand how these costumes fit and really how they fit according to acro, because when you're doing all these um, acro skills, walkovers, balancing, you really have to make sure the costume has a good fit. Um, it stays down on the bum. It stays up on the chest area. I like to um, have their back showing. Um, acro dancers work very hard at having their muscular backs and everything. So a nice back shows really well on all their balancing and their skills. So without further ado, I'm going to bring in my models. We're going to talk about each um, costume, and then we're going to show you some skills so you can see firsthand and really how they fit and how they look when they're doing um, different acro elements. Okay, come on in, girls. So we have Jada wearing the, I'm just going to check my notes. I think this one is called the Nova. This one here in the black. So what I like, so as you can see, these costumes are all a little bit different. Um, we'll show you the front row first and then the back row. So when you see a costume, you need to decide, okay, well, what, what's the style of song? So to me, this one would be something more jazzy. So something jazzy, a little bit of sass, like that kind of thing, more of a jazz style afro. Um, what I like about this one is the different shapes it shows, the nice open back. And this one gets a really nice fit on the bum. And it's adjustable strap. You can, um, if you needed to, you could take it in here. Okay. So that's, uh, that's called the Nova. This one here is called Perspective. Um, yes. Yeah, so, right. So we have two models here, two dancers showing you. So someone that is very small um, and then someone that is nice and tall. So it, it shows really well on both types. Uh, this one is really, really cool because of the straps that go. So they'll show you a few acro elements later. And it's very effective from the front from the stage perspective. Um, hey, it's called perspective too. But showing those different, um, the different style here. Again, this costume has a really great, it stays, it's the bum nice, it stays down. You're not going to have it riding up. All those important things for acro. And then a nice high neck. After we do a lot of bridge work, um, so we want to really make sure that we, we're covered up here and it stays up. Okay, so that is perspective. So let's just switch rows here, dancers. Um, and then we have this one here, and it is called Sounds of Silence. Okay, so this one is nice because it has a lower leg, so you're definitely not going to ride up. It's It looks very acro athletic. To me, this one would be um, more about, like, power powerful, powerful piece. Whereas this black one, I did forgot to mention, if you guys just want to come up here, this one would be more dark power, like more dark minded, maybe contemporary style. Okay. Um, switch. And then we have this one here. Um, this one's really pretty with the, with the open back, the nice brief, again, a nice fit on the bum. It's got um, all this mesh is double stretch. So it really breathes with the dancer. Um, I, I love a long sleeve, but sometimes if they're a dancer that does a lot of balancing on their arms and forearms, it might not be the best choice. But if you've got a dancer that does a lot of handstands, walkovers, um, that kind of 
style, then this costume is absolutely stunning. And you could also glitz any of these up with some rhinestones to just give it that extra little um, pizzazz. And then this one is um, kind of cool. Like if you can see the legs, they they look they look like a skirt, but they're actually pants. Um, with a nice little open back here, it's leather on the front. So it gives another texture look. We'll show you a few skills in this one. I'm um, doing the jetés and walkovers. The, the skirt actually flows quite beautifully. Um, so you could do some really neat things with this. To me, this would be more of a lyrical base um, routine, whereas this one would be more contemporary, earthy. Okay, so we're going to have the dancers now show you some skills so you as teachers can really see how they work um, doing these acts and different types of actor elements, okay, of all different uh, ages, abilities. Okay, so we're going to have the dancers exit the studio and we're going to leave Jada on. Um, so one thing I think we're going to ask you though, Jada, is what do you like about this costume? I like the different like shapes and how it's not just like a regular bodysuit, like it's more unique when normal people wear. Yeah, and that brings you to the next point. When we're costuming, um, you want it to you, a costume can make something be memorable too, like a judgment. Oh yeah, that, that girl was wearing that blue one with the cutouts. It was, you know, it stood out. It was different than sort of some of the other ones. So that you can use that to an advantage as well. Okay. So Jada's going to show us a few skills. So Jada, go ahead. Just so you can see how it stays. It doesn't slide. It doesn't move. The nice little forearm balance. So it's kind of nice with the cutoff and then a cool exit. And you can really see the different shapes and in the bodysuit when she's moving. Um, you want to do a nice, a nice slow handstand or cartwheel. I'm going to show that. Good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can yeah. I interrupt for just a second? I just wanted to ask, there's the mesh there on the front. Is that also really stretchy? Yes, it's all stretchy. So this moves with the dancer and so important for Afro because they're extending and pushing their bodies for pretty much the entire routine. Um, so it, it's so helpful to have that um, stretch in there. And it sort of is nice because I like the different um, shades there too, it shows. So it has some nice texture in Right. And I think we see that in some of the other costumes here as well. They've got that stretch mesh along with that four-way stretch spandex that comes into play. So that makes it real, like you talked about earlier, um, that really movement friendly fabric. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, Jada. Okay. And we're going to have Chloe and Kate come in, show you perspective. So we'll start with um, Chloe. So just go to the side there. Um, Chloe, what do you like about this costume? I like the oh, it doesn't light up in the back. Yeah, yeah, good. And um, yeah, so we're going to have Chloe do some, um, a few things. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So yeah, we're going to face this way. I would, if I was choreographing something with this routine, I would make sure a majority of when it was still posing and things like balancing or any walkovers that the, the lines were facing the audience because as watch when she does a few things, it's really effective. Um, go ahead. Good. And let's do a walkover maybe. Can you come a little closer? Okay. Yeah, do a nice front walkover. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, can you do something to the back? So let's go. Let's do your this arch back and then lay down. So show the back off. Good. Okay. And you can see as she comes up, it hasn't changed. Like it hasn't wrote ro up. It's pretty, it's full coverage. So that's a really great thing about this costume. Jill, is there a, a what is that, that elasticized slip grip on these costumes as well that's helping with the, the, the them to not ride at the back? Yeah, come on up, Chloe. So yeah, so all of the costumes have a lining here that um, sticks, so it helps, and it's nice and tight, but not too tight, and it helps with um, the riding, yeah. And this costume is so unique with the, the straps and the lines, but also in the front, it, it's hard for us to tell, but it, it looks wet or shimmery, but what is that um, in the front that we're looking at? So it's the, if you go sideways, this is line, like this, if you pull it out, there's two layers. It's the mesh over top of the lycra. So it's, it's a shimmery lycra, but then it has adds extra shimmery with the mesh over top. So it's like a double, double layered. It's really yeah. a striking costume. Yeah. 
Awesome. Hey, Kate. Okay, so here's a younger, smaller dancer, but still equally as beautiful on this on this size of dancer. So if you have a group with various sizes, because I know a lot of Afro um, teachers in studios, we put littles with the bigs for different reasons for being able to lift the littles. So with this costume, it really looks amazing on someone really little as well as someone really tall okay, and older. So it kind of works for all ages and all bodies. So, okay. So let's do a little move for you. What is she going to show us? Good. Walk over girl. Can you do a forearm down? Fine. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And go up to a chest roll. Good. Good. Okay. Awesome. And what do you like about this costume? I really like the lines. Yeah. And you could rhinestone those up to add some a little bit of um extra uh sparkle and extra pizzazz to the costume um yeah so that's the perspective great thank you okay we're gonna have Lillian come in and this is sounds of silence this costume so what do you like about this costume I like how easy it is to tumble and do flexibility and the neck yeah, so she likes because it's high neck. We do a lot of flex, a lot of arching, and I find at this age they like to be fully covered for sure. Um, and she is a tumbler, and she's sort of a powerhouse, so um, she feels really comfortable in this kind because it's 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 got the shorts, okay? So it's a, more of a bite tard uh, shape. And if you look on the back, it's quite nice with the like open back, and then these straps. Um, we would have to tighten them for her, if this, but they're crisscross straps at the back, which is really nice. Okay, so let's do a Russian. Show them a nice Russian. Good, and then how about an aerial cartwheel? Good. What else can you show us? Uh, walk over or? Uh... Okay, good. So you can see that's, yeah, really nice. Carolyn? Yeah, Lillian, can you come in just a little bit closer? Because I know they've got that mesh um, fabric in the front there as well. Yeah, so it's mesh here, and it's mesh in here. So it's lines and mesh, and then the back is crisscross straps there at the back, and then this nice open back. Very nice. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. and it's very comfortable. Is that a comfortable costume? I feel like she could wear that to class or to anything, and it's very comfortable too. And when we're dealing with acro, it's really important for the comfort because you really are extending your body, working your body so hard. I feel like acro clothes are usually the hardest routines, um, stamina, strength, all of those things. So to feel comfortable and being able to breathe in your costume is so, so important. Okay, two questions then, Jill. Um, I'm going to ask because now it's not relevant to this costume, but maybe to some, maybe to some of the others. But um, is the, you know, we're not wearing tights. We could, maybe they could. I don't know, but we'll let you discuss that. But is there lining in these costumes, adding extra support? Because you talked about coverage is important at a certain age and place and time. And what does that look like for these costumes? Yeah, these are all lined. Um, these are all double lined. So then we, they're not see-through. So they can wear underwear if they need to, but they wouldn't have to. Um, and usually, like, the tights aren't worn for Afro. Like, they have to have bare feet. So they could have cutoff tights. When I use cutoff tights, it's when a costume doesn't have a good fit in the bum. And the dancers are self-conscious. So we wear tights to make sure nothing comes out or and it's all stays together <laughs> but these costumes from all of these ones that we've shown you today I don't think a dancer would need to wear tights in this they were just had self-conscious reason for themselves but these costumes all fit really well and stay down so yeah good okay second last one let's go back to this one is called what were you called Halo? this one is called adrenaline okay so to me this is more of a contemporary feel costume um but halo what do you like about this costume um i like this like so if you come uh, in here teachers you can see it's gathered in here it adds uh, a lot of like i just yeah i love that love that and then it's gathered here and you love the mesh and, and what really else like the, color. the color is really pretty it's stunning and you know i feel like this color would look good on anyone like it's one of those colors that and then it's really nice open back here in the back and of course it's free to fit and this is all stretchy mesh in here it's stretchy 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 okay so halo what do you got for us 
Okay, makes one arm shoulder stance. You can see the line good. Yeah. So I really like the long sleeve in here because it really looks beautiful with, oh, and hit the mirror. <laughs> okay, so her leg, um, I, I like I like Afro showing those legs. And so with the arms, it sort of adds another dimension that is like really beautiful. Um, just one little tidbit, make sure you cut things out of costumes. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them have little tags and stuff especially these store-bought ones they often have those big tags we want to make sure that they're <laughs> tucked away okay what about um uh, walkover or a switch walkover or the walkover variation you can show us yeah or walking on your hands okay good what about some hands i'm walking maybe good that looks really nice as i'm walking that with a long sleeve yeah, I didn't know I would be a fan of the long sleeve, but now actually seeing in the camera, I'm like, hmm, I kind of like the long sleeve. It's uh, it's quite beautiful. So good, thank you, amazing. Okay, and last but not least, we got this cool one. Now I would never think of this for Afro, but it has a place, I think. And if you were doing sort of a lyrical feel to a solo, um, I like this one. Uh, why don't you do a handstand? Or jet, let's do the jeté first because it really flows when she jetés. Quite pretty. Go so, and then a walk over, and then a walk over. Yeah. So the white white just kind of flows a little bit. Go in the middle maybe, and so you do another walk over, a little faster walk over, and let's see what that looks like with the pants kind of flowing. Yeah. So if you did multiple in a row, I think it would look great. Can you do two walk overs in a row, Cadence? One, two, to see all those the pants flow. One, two. Good. Very nice. And then a handstand. This one has a leather front. It's a leather, leather material, which is kind of cool. It's like a little, almost like a wet look. So if she does a handstand, it sort of just hangs there. Nice. Awesome. And this one's a tumbler too. Can we see what a back handspring looks like cadence with this one? Let's see. Can you just do standing back handspring? Can you just standing back handspring? No. Good. Can you do it sideways first? Amazing. Good. So good. So it's not, you have to be careful with Afro with too much that it's a distraction, but I feel like this one isn't too much flow. It's just got the right amount of flow with the right song and the right feel. I feel like this costume could be quite beautiful for Acro. So if we just come closer and you can see the front, it's kind of hard on camera, but it is a leather. This is all leather on the front. And then this is just like more. Yeah. And then let's turn off the back. One thing that I would probably, if you're doing any back rolls or anything, this plastic thing would have to be changed. But that's quite easy to change. You could just put a little, you just put another clasp in there, a smaller one that's not quite as big. So that's the other thing you got to be careful of when you're costuming is rhinestones all over the front. If they're a chest stand person or any bouncing, it can be very slippery. And same with any big clips in the back. If they're rolling on their back, you can dig in and feel really uncomfortable. So just be mindful of that, um, of when you're planning. And it just depends on what skills and things your dancers have in their routines for what works. Yeah, I, I think you bring up a good point. There's versatility in these costumes and they're dem it's demonstrated through, you know, us able, you know, able to watch Cadence do things, uh, skills, as well as the other dancers showing what's possible. And also sometimes small tweaks and adjustments can be made in order for it to work, um, mm -hmm. especially if it's a costume you really like. So here it is without the skirt on. So you, this is sort of a two in one. So it is a really like it fits so beautifully. So just maybe show a walkover or something without the skirt on. So you could use the same costume with or without the skirt. Um, maybe they do part of the maybe they do part of the routine without, and then they add the skirt in. So probably, I don't know. Just thinking of ideas because this costume works well on its own without the skirt as well, or without the pants skirt. As you call it. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the fit on these costumes. They yeah, really do a nice fun. handstand. Do one more little handstand here. Just show it. Oh, the skirt on. Oh, up, 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 up. there you go. Good. Yeah. And then turn around, Cadence, as you can see that there's no movement. Okay. So yeah, really nice. Perfect. Okay. Well, that is our little weekly mini on costumes. I to thank Revolution for um, allowing my dancers to wear their costumes and model for them. Um, this was really fun. I hope you took something away from this. And maybe when you're looking for costumes, this gave you some more ideas of 
what to look for, what not to look for, some inspiration. Um, thank you very much, Acrobatic Arts, as well, for having us. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jill, are dancers still in costumes? Can they join us back in front of the camera? Yes. Take come on back in. Yeah. We just have one that had to that's go, okay. but we have the rest of these guys. So we'll come in and make a little semicircle. Beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Halo. I know Jada had to, to bounce. Cadence, yeah. Chloe, Kate, and Lillian. Thank you, Jill. Uh, thank you so, so very much. They uh, was awesome. Thank you, teachers. Thank you for being here. You should know that every costume uh, ships in a protective garment bag and all accessories are included. Revolution knows in-stock options are important this season. And so you can count on their website to be up to date with current availability information. You can shop Revolution's entire line at revolution.dance.com. Uh, and if you're looking specifically for styles to complement your acro choreography, check out their curated acro costumes page. I will put links in the bio uh, or in our comment section for you. Teachers, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jill, and all of your acro dancers. That was amazing. Thank you to Revolution. What an amazing opportunity uh, for all of us to learn. Thank you, teachers, for joining us for this weekly mini. Join us again next week. See you then. Bye.